Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to learn what is rule of 13 and its application in mass spectrometry. And these are the questions that we are going to solve. So first of all, let us understand what is the application of rule of 13, why it is used. It is used to find out the molecular formula. Okay, what is molecular formula? Molecular formula is the formula that gives information about the different number of atoms. For example, benzene. Benzene has six carbons and six hydrogen. This is benzene. Right, so we have written the molecular formula. That means it has six carbons and six hydrogens. So for an unknown compound or sample, if I want to find out uh, the molecular formula, I can find out from the value of first what is to be given is m by z value that is a molecular ion peak should be given to us okay molecular ion peak should be given second thing is it should be given whether the compound has carbon and hydrogen obviously it will have carbon and hydrogen apart from this whether a molecule has oxygen or nitrogen this heteroatoms are present or not that information should also be given if we have this much information, then we can find out the molecular formula using the rule of 13. So, what is the first step? First step is divide the m by z value by 13. Okay, so it is better that you remember the table for 13. Okay, for solving this. Okay, and this is the first rule. So, how do you calculate the number of carbons and hydrogens? Suppose m by z value is, is 78. Okay, and I have to divide it by 13. Okay, I divide it by 13. Whatever we write here is what? It is what? It is called as quotient. Okay, so I divide. I know 13 6 is 78. 13 6 is 78 and 78 minus 78 is 0. So, whatever is the left, this value is called as a remainder. Okay, quotient and remainder. Okay, only one step you have to do. Now, let us write down the number of carbons and hydrogen. Number of carbons is equal to quotient. Whatever is the value of quotient, that will be the number of carbons and the number of hydrogens will be quotient plus remainder quotient plus remainder okay it's very important quotient plus remainder you have to add both these values quotient and remainder okay the most common mistake here what we can do is quotient is number of carbons and only remainder is the number of hydrogen that will be incorrect okay so you have to remember for hydrogen you have to add both of them quotient and remainder what is the next step next step is if let's say one hydro one oxygen is present okay if oxygen is present what we can do oxygen is present okay oxygen what is the atomic mass it is 16 so, whatever formula that you get from step 1, from, formula from step 1, okay, what you will do? You will add oxygen and oxygen molecular mass is how much? Atomic mass is 16. So, you have to subtract some, some carbons and hydrogen such that the overall m by z value should not change. Okay, that means m by z value, I have added oxygen. So ideally what I am doing, I am adding mass of 16. So at the same time, I have to remove some carbon and hydrogen so that the overall value remains same. So what I will subtract, 1 carbon and 4 hydrogen. Mass of carbon is 12 plus atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. So 1 into 4, 4. So total mass of CH4 is also 16. So you will add 1 oxygen and subtract CH4 that is one carbon and four hydrogens. This is for one oxygen. If one more oxygen is present, if more than one oxygen are present, more than one oxygen present, then you repeat the same process. Then repeat the same.
okay same goes for if the hetero atom present is let's say nitrogen if nitrogen is present atomic mass of nitrogen is what it is 14 and for nitrogen again you will do the same thing you, you will take the formula from step one that will contain only carbon and hydrogen okay you will add a nitrogen that is atomic mass 14 and subtract some carbons and hydrogen such that we remove mass of 14 so carbon is 12 and 2 hydrogen so 12 plus 2 14 so c1 you will subtract one carbon and two hydrogens okay so just you write down the rules now then by solving the question we can come to know how exactly we apply these rules so this is the first question m by z value is given 86 and molecular formula for the compound given is uh, we have to find out the molecular formula for the compound having only carbon and hydrogen okay so only carbon and hydrogen are present so write 86 divided by 13 so better you remember the table of 13 okay, i'll write down here 13 ones are 13 26 13 threes are 39 13 fours are 56 13 fives are 65 13 six are 78 13 sevens are 91 13 eights are 104 Okay, 13 nines are 117 and 13 tens are 130 okay so this is 86 so which number we will take which is closest to 86 it is 78 so 13 6 are 78 okay subtract 86 minus 78 is what it is 8 so how many number of carbons are present is equal to quotient that is 6 and how many hydrogens are present quotient plus remainder quotient is 6 remainder is 8 so 6 plus 8 that is 14 so what is the molecular formula C, C6 H14 so this is which formula this is the molecular formula you can say this is for which one this is for alkanes okay CN H2N plus 2 I have taken for, for which compound for hexane okay C6 H 14 okay so we don't have to draw the structure the only application that we have to learn here is to find out the molecular formula i'm just giving you the structure the answer of the structure so that you can cross check whether the molecular formula is correct or not so here you can see it is ch3 ch2 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 and CH3 you can count there are 6 carbons and 14 hydrogen so this was the first one second one is m by z value is given 122 we have to find out first for the molecular formula for the compound having carbon hydrogen and one oxygen then for carbon hydrogen and two oxygen so the steps are same first again 122 you divide by 13 now which is the closest value to 122 you can see 9s are 39s are 117. So 39s are 117. This will be 5. So first we write the formula for carbon. Carbon will be 9. And hydrogen will be quotient is 9. Remainder is 5. 9 plus 5, 14. Okay, now they have told that there is one oxygen present. So what we will do? We will add one oxygen, O1, and we will subtract CH. 4 okay so first what we can do we can add one oxygen so i write oxygen over here then 14 minus 4 is 10 and 9 minus 1 is 8 so this is the formula for for the compound having one carbon that is the first one carbon hydrogen and one oxygen so which can be the compound there can be many compound with this molecular formula one of the compound i can show you you can check for this you will get the molecular formula as C8H10O okay then again then we have to find out for the second one now there are two oxygen so what we will do we will again repeat the same process add oxygen subtract CH4 okay now oxygen 1 plus 1 O2 
10 minus 4 h6 and 8 minus 1 is 7 so c7 h6 o2 so this was the molecular formula for this compound benzoic acid okay you can check for benzoic acid you will get this formula c7 h6 o2 so in this way you can see if i have m by z value and the information about the num type of atoms present should be given then i can find out the molecular formula now this is the last one okay here we have carbon hydrogen and nitrogen so again take 45 divide by 13 13 3 is a 39 okay this is 6 so number of carbons is equal to quotient that is 3 number of hydrogens is quotient plus remainder that is 3 plus 6 that is 9 so 3 carbon and 9 hydrogen Okay, now we want we have to add nitrogen so we add nitrogen we have to find out the compound having carbon hydrogen and one nitrogen minus ch2 okay so what is the molecular formula c3 minus 1 2 h9 minus 2 7 and n1 okay so this is the molecular formula c2 h7 n this i had taken for which compound ethyl amine or we can say amino ethane so here we come to the end of this video i hope you have understood how can we use the rule of 13 to find out the molecular formula using the m by z value thank you so much